Java tutorial for beginners. Topics covered in this tutorial are configuring your computer for Java programming, testing your computer for JDK availability, writing first program, use of system.out.println, defining and using variables, doing basic mathematical operation and the if concept in Java. So first of all, so first of all you have to download and install JDK that is Java Development Kit on your computer. For this search for Java Development Kit and you will find the URL here which is oracle.com slash technetwork slash java slash index.html. So you have to download the Java Standard Edition which is Java SE. So latest version is JDK 7 update 25. So accept the license agreement and download the exe file. So once download is completed you have to install it on your computer by clicking the installer file by double clicking the installer file and following the steps. So we have already developed a video tutorial for installing JDK 7 on Windows 7 computer. Visit our website rosindia.net slash java slash training slash index.html and then click on the install installing Java JDK 7 on Windows 7 computer link and here you will find the tutorial video tutorial through which you can learn how to install JDK 7. Once JDK 7 is installed you have to configure the path variable. So to configure the path variable go to the computer's properties and then advanced system settings. Click on the environmental variables and you can see here the Java path variable here edit and it includes the uh, jdk7 bin directory so here it is so in my computer java is installed on this path and in this video itself you will find the steps to set the variable path also and test the jdk installation installation for this we should go to the command prompt and if we type java hyphen version it should display the version of the java so in my computer JDK is already installed and configured. We'll first write a simple program here. So I'll use the notepad here to write the program. We'll simply write a public class my test class. So we'll copy this uh, main method here. So this is the main method. So every Java class should have a main method here. We'll see how we can use the system.order.print method. So basically this is used. So basically this method is used to print some text on the console. So we'll write the print the today state here and new java.util.date so basically this program will print the current date on the console we have a date class which is in java.util package of the java so this is the date is another class which is the comes with the Java library and which is present in java.util.date package. So basically package is a convenient way through which we can group the Java classes. So here java.util package contains the utility classes provided the, by the Java. Now cd slash code java example and we'll try to compile. For compiling the Java classes we should type java c and then the class name my test class dot java so this will compile the java class let's see if there's some error here invalid syntax this if i compile this now it should give the error message so if your java program contains some error the compiler will show you the error here so this is df is nothing but it's uh, invalid that's why it is giving the error now i'm corrected at uh, compiling 
so it is compiled to test the program so after compilation it will create a binary file which is my test class or java so java actually uh, creates a byte code which is used by the jvm to run the application so jvm is actually reads this class file and then converts it into platform specific binary code and then it executes to execute we should just uh, simply type java and then the class name my test class so it is printing the current date and time here so uh, in java we should have a public class and then my test class we should save my test class to java file now we will define and use the variables so i am creating a variable so variable is used to hold the data in the program yes different types of variable in java we will simply use the string type variable str and the string name this is a variable a string name and here i'm writing my name now we'll simply print this value of name variable onto the console for this we'll just use system dot out dot print ln and then the variable name let's compile now execute so it is printing today's date and after that my name so this way you can define the variable in java we have string numeric integer many different types of variables now we'll try to do some math operation for this we we'll have to define the integer type variable i and j now we can initialize i equal to 1 and j is equal to 10 and another variable is we can define this k we can now uh, put any value here is 20 and then for multiplying multiply in l is equal to j star k so uh, int l will contain the multiplication result of j and k to see the output here we will simply system dot out dot print ln and then the variable name which is l file and then this is today's date my name and then the 200 which is 10 into 20 equal to 200 now we'll try to print the table of 10 for this we can write like this for i is equal to 1 and i is less than equal to 10 and then i plus plus this loop will run till the value of i is less than or equal to 10 in table is equal to j star i and then we will simply print the table here which is the table value here so this print the table 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 and so this way we can use the mathematical operation in java so you can use mathematical operation in java you can use the if condition in java so if i is equal to 1 then we can do some operation else we can write here some very matches like not equal since the i variable is defined here is 1 but we are incrementing here in the for loop so it should print the not equal it should be double equal to and as well i now compile execute so it's not equal so this way you can do the mathematical operation in java also you can visit our website here It contains lot of java tutorials that you can go through and learn from these tutorials collection of lot of tutorials here you can also ask any question that you are having in your mind and we'll try to answer your questions thanks for watching the tutorial